<laughs> All right, Damon, thank you so much for coming on stage showing to us. Can you actually show us what this lo looks like in action? Yeah, absolutely. So every robotic automation project should start with workforce intelligence. Our big data cloud application that collects millions of events from all the desktops in your organization and then looks for places where you can use that data to improve. I see. So you collect all the data from across all the desktops, you analyze it, and how do we get started? Well, we get started with what we call the Opportunity Finder. That's an analysis that looks for patterns in your data and it says, hey, this is a place you can use automation to save time or another enhancement to save time. I see. So this identifies all the manual steps that's happening across the applications, across the systems, and gives me recommendations. That's right. And here, actually, I see a cut, cut, copy, and paste opportunity that looks like it's for address change. So why don't we drill into that one? All right, so in the center, you can see that, well, you, you've been performing address changes about 25,000 times a week in the last month. Isn't there a lot of people moving, Damon? Well, I hear a lot of people are moving to Canada right now. Oh. <laughs> That's a good move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK, and I see it. also some other data on top. I see estimated time savings per count. What does that mean? So that tells us how much time we would save if we were to automate this. So mm -hmm. 195 seconds is over three minutes. And in the course of a year for that many CSRs, that's over $1.7 million worth of savings. That's a huge savings. That's a lot of time. So let's do it. All right, yeah, let's get started and automate it. So in order to do that, what I have to do is uh, actually simulate a call so I can record the same steps that a CSR would do mm -hmm. when they do a real address change. So we're in the customer service application from Pega. We have a uh, screen pop. Yep. And here I am. I'm actually going to go ahead and click record. And now the software is going to watch everything I do so it can create a robot from it later. I see. So you're actually doing a um, customer service uh, task for change address. You're talking, simulating that you're talking to a customer. Yep. You know, this John, John Brown is moving to ComAv in Boston. And you're actually recording all of his activity where he is typing in, keying in the data, and. Yep. Uh huh. Now you just open up some VB app, and he's looking at the, at the uh, customer account number. So he has to pull up that customer data. Yeah. Not fun. Nope. And then I... there's another app, and you had to find John Brown on that system as well. Yeah. And then what are you going to do? Uh, well, then I got to copy and paste. So uh, finally oh. at that point. Damon, this is painful. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, imagine if you have a customer on the phone. You imagine if you have 3,500 customers in front of you <laughs> <laughs> watching you cutting and pasting. Yeah. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> I think this is when you're in the contact center and the CSR says, oh, my systems are running a little slow. Really? <laughs> They're just going to like seven different systems to do the same thing. <laughs> That's why it's working that way. So this is the manual work. Your, your tool is <laughs> your tool is running out of power. Oops, yeah, somebody, yeah, we didn't apparently plug in. All right. <laughs> OK. OK. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> Click save and uh, finish this. So here we go. I'm going to uh, submit on this, and then I can uh, stop recording and give this a name so that we can invoke it from Pega. And I hope somebody's bringing a power cord in the meanwhile. Oh, I see what's him. Come on, yeah, we see somebody running up to us here. <laughs> All right, so you recorded that transaction through a robotic process. You actually have basically watched the user go through yeah. the multiple um, applications. You recorded the whole thing. You have a transaction that you can repeat. And now you're in Pega Express. You're trying to get this done before we run out of power. Yeah, and we're I'm adding actually, a robotic. I'm, I'm going to add, I've got power, so I'm going to pause for a second. <laughs> Relax. I'm going to add the robotic automation step now, OK? Oh, look at the cute icon. Yeah, it's a cute little icon. And uh, just accept the default name. And then I'm going to go ahead and type address change here. There we go. So hold on a second. So right here it says run in the background. Yeah. What does that mean? So that just means that production, if I were to check that, uh, the CSR would never have to see the apps at all. OK. Can we just leave it unchecked for now so we can see the robots Yeah. Why don't actually we do working? that? And I'll go ahead and click Save. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, take another call here. OK. So you know a lot of people moving right now. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Uh, Sarah. 
Okay. All right. Okay, so Sarah is in Boston. That's right. So, and uh, but she heard John is moving to Boston, so it sounds like she's trying to get out of town. Yeah, she's going to move to Cambridge. Okay. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. So now I'm at a point when I hit submit that the robots will actually do this for me. Okay. Okay. So when do the robots come? Well, that was it. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to do it one more time. Okay? Can you do it, please? <laughs> All right, yeah. So we have an associated account here. Uh, and when I uh, submit this time, it's going to run an address change on this account. Okay, so it's sharing the same process, so it's going to run it. I'm paying attention. All right, here we go. Go. Look, Ma, no hands. Look, I see the applications. Wow, that was so much faster yeah. than doing it by hand. Yeah, three minutes down to 10 seconds. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 but, okay, well, what's the CSR supposed to do now? Well, I hope they're going to focus on the customer. That would be great. Thank you so much, David, right. for showing Thanks, us. Thanks, Karen.